everybody. Hope you're all safe and well. Time to get this one completed, isn't it? My Viking style, Norse style, non specific, made up play axe. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. New camera, new thing to turn up camera on and off. So let's go. I don't think I'm going to go much further than that. I think that's uh, pretty good. After all, it's meant to be a rough and rudimentary take on what I want to do. So now, what are we going to do next? You best stay tuned. Very, very important that if you're going to be playing with lasers, you use protective gear. You only got one set of eyes, people, and make sure you buy decent quality glasses because it will make a difference. Anyway, lecture over. Moving on. Right. So, now you've got your safety issues and everything out of the way, the next thing is to etch your vinyl with your pattern. Now this one is a depiction of Odin. Um, you should probably see it better there. Of Odin. Um, now, the idea is, you set your size and everything. If you want to know how to do the laser etching, I've done a previous video, go and have a look at that. Right, but what you want to do, you want to have a piece of metal underneath your vinyl. You won't etch through the steel, so don't even try it. But what you can do is, if you use steel underneath, it takes the heat away immediately from the vinyl, so it doesn't get burning too much, um, and also reflects it back a bit, the, the laser back a bit, so it makes it a bit better. Right. So here's one I've done earlier. Right. Okay. So you you've got that. This is your that's your finished one, ready to go. Yeah, right, so once you've uh, stuck it all down, go back and look through my old videos if you want to see how to do all this. And then it's just a case of in a well ventilated area again. Just going through this, take your time. Whatever method you use, all I'm using is a 12 volt battery, you don't need anything fancy. It's a um, battery charger, that's all you need. And when you think you're happy with it, it's just a case of pan it off. If you think you've got your depth, and then he said, ready for this? Let's do the big reveal. Drum roll, please. And there we go, we're starting to see it. Alright, and then to get the remainder of it off, a bit of acetone, and just uh, and he take it away. There you go. Next stage. Bye. Right. So you've done your etch. This is just the first side. I'll show you what I do on the second side in a minute. So you've got your etch on there now, as you can see. So now what I'm doing, you can do whatever you want to do. For me, I'm just going to do like a massive etch. But I want it to look, you know, I want it to look old and kind of rusty. So I'm putting this mustard on in the pattern and the whole idea is mustard just literally etches into the steel. You clean it up afterwards. 
and hopefully you'll have a nice patina. And then with this, you have to wait and see. Morning everyone. Right. So this is what it looks like now. <laughs> You're probably thinking, rightly so. Oh my goodness, what's he done? So all I'm gonna do, go wash it off and we'll have a look at it. Right. So that's where we are now, as you can see, getting a, like a patina on it, which is what I wanted. So all I'm going to do now is get a bit of water salt and just gently go over it. We'll see. Right, so I've got it at this stage now, so I've kind of, I've kind of aged it a bit, but you know, it would look after it, but it's going to get battle scars and all that malarkey, in my head anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is what I've been saving this for. I'm going to inlay gold leaf into Odi. Right, so that's where we are now. Bring a bit closer, this camera's not the best, so I'll bring it a bit closer. It's both sides now. Now, what I'll do is, once this is dried properly, I'll blend this in better. I might put a bit more somewhere else, what do you reckon? And then, once we've done that, get the handle finished, and then it's done. Right, it's getting a slurry I think now, eh? with the shape, that's what I want. Let's see the back of it, it's a bit in there, just need some, obviously I want something at the bottom so that your hand wouldn't fall off. I'll probably indent that a little bit more, just finish sanding this one up. Um, and then we'll probably really do the next day. Right, sorry, I mean being that <laughs> Right, so there's my handle. Um, indexed quite well, the idea. I've cut my, uh, cut down through here for my uh, wedge to go through. It stops the wood splitting out as well. Um, so I think we're pretty much ready to move on.
safety first, you see. So I'm now making a wedge to go into here. That makes sense. So that when it goes into the head, we can tap this in, cut this off, and it'll be right. getting there. So now that's all pinned in and flush and looking nice, actually looking nice. So now I'm going to make a piece of leather to go around here as a protector. I know the, it wasn't always the case that they had stuff like this but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make that next. Telly, it's hot today. It is proper hot. I keep the shower flowing too. Mm. on this I'll do some photos at this at the end to show you exactly what it looks like in the little video but until next time thanks again for all the uh, support don't forget I'm doing the uh, giveaway soon so make sure you subscribe and put the notification on for that and I will speak to you all very soon take care everyone Bye. couldn't leave it like that could I there's X more blades Damn.